Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to break down some of the smoothest double plays in baseball history. What do you have for us, Logan? So full disclosure, I was always you know, on the mound or in the outfield, maybe get stuck at first base. I wasn't the most skilled defensive player, so I love watching defensive plays. Most of mine are gonna be um, infield yep. heavy. Mm -hmm. um, I just think they're wizards on the middle infield. I think you played middle infield, so you might be able to do some of this stuff. Played second base, and it's funny you say wizard, because the first one up, I've got the wizard Ooh. himself from the 80s, Ozzie Smith with the Cardinals. A little go. acrobatic move for you. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so high. Like, so he was he did like standing back lifts and stuff too, right? Oh That's, yeah. I'm thinking oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. So he's always showing off the vert. That yeah. was that was terrific. Well it's not just pass over the dude trying to take him out, sliding into second. Oh yeah. This is the 80s. Remember the 80s, and people don't remember this now. Back in the 80s, they came in hard and fast. There were no rules. It was a lawless land at second base. Usually you could get cleared out. Didn't even pretty really good. need to slide. Like you could just He just jumped him. Jumped him. It yeah. was that easy. Check out what you got for me. Alright, here we go. So first one on my list. Take a look here. A little little bit of an obscure player. Alexi Amarista, oh. no hand necessar necessary, okay? Oh. So, glove, you think he's gonna transfer to the hand, yeah. but it's just glove to the bag. Oh my, that was one motion. The yeah. ball came in and went out. Pop. That's like, you, you know those pancake gloves? That you, just, yeah. you just take it like that? Boom, behind the bag, Oh, flip, to the bare hand. Jed Jerko with the one hand catch, bare Jed hand Jerko. catch. Oh, over to first. Man. Look at that. I like that. That's smooth. That's in the category of smooth. All right, let's take a look at the next one I've got for you, Logan, here. This one's a little goofy. It's not your typical goofy. double play. It's Javi Baez. We know he's smooth with the mid. Okay. Check out the SSKs if you haven't yet. Javi Baez, right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So is that a is that a 4-6 double play, technically? Yeah, I think so. It just kind of... Boop! You gotta do what nice. it takes. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever you can do to get him out. Kick it. Two punch outs. Punch it. Two outs. At least one. Double but yes, plays. Yes, he got two. Pitcher's best friend. All right. So next on the list. This is from a few years ago. Another uh, kind of an obscure player. Uh, some of you might know him as Uni. But here we go. Right <laughs> up the middle. Again. Oh. I love the no no hand whatsoever. He Just ended up in right to bag. field. That's right. Yeah. In the shift position today. Yes. Yeah, you yeah, just glove, flip it over to the second baseman. Smooth. Yeah, there's nothing I, I like this. Nothing you can do about that if you're a if you're a base runner, if you're a hitter. I mean that's a that's a that's a base hit. That's style. Most I, times. I mean, yeah, that is. In this case it turned into two outs. Gosh. You've you've shown two videos and used a total of two arms. Yeah, that's true. That's impressive. All right, we're gonna mix it up just a little bit here. We've stayed in the infield the whole time so far, but I like to think outside the box. It'll come back to the infield. Gold Glover, Nolan Arenado, out there in Colorado. Okay, so that was left field. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> here we go. The and old, the old cutoff action. That's how you run a cutoff right there. You got the shortstop yeah. coming over. You got Arenado on the fadeaway back to third. Catch him napping after the catch. Throw might have been a little high for the cutoff, but Aaron Otto's an athlete. He's an athlete. He makes it happen. He gets paid. Right. <laughs> All right, so I've got, this is my first goofy one. Um, not your traditional 6-4-3 double play. This one's Joey Votto in Cleveland. Check this out. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Talk about knowing where everything is at. That is, that's probably a culmination of 20 years in warm-ups, just being like. Yeah, just flipping it around. He's going into foul territory, has the presence of mind to just oh tap gosh. the bag with his left foot, flip it underhand under his left arm. Do you think he could have just bag. planted, though? Oh, man. Because it's, it's cool, but it's like, necessary? Look at this, right here. Boop. I guess it's an entertainment sport. Flip. Oh yeah, Votto's definitely an entertainer. That shortstop was like, come on, come he had on, to, he come was on. waiting seven years for it to come down, but it, <laughs> it came great. down just in time. I love it. All right, next up, since I said I was going to get a little goofy here, here we have a couple. We've got two for you. Is there an outfielder coming up? It's an outfielder. Oh, yeah. And it's Ramon Laureano. 
on a fly ball out to left, left center really. Oh, oh. <laughs> no way. So we've talked about this before. There's so much foul territory in Oakland that that on, in, an, in another stadium is probably up in the crowd somewhere. Yes. That is incredible arm strength. Robs the home run, wow. overthrows it to first. And I think the most underrated part of this is that catcher. I gotta see this. <laughs> Just a new. Oh my gosh. As you said before, if you're rounding second to get back to the bag, yes, it was a play. Here, let's show you that one more time. Watch the catcher on this. Because this is exactly how you're supposed to do it. But then he makes a phenomenal play. Oh. Overthrows the other backup, and then like Jeter yeah. going into the 5-6 hole, boom! So there's so much going on here. You got Loriano robbing the home run to start it. Yes. Throwing the ball seven miles yes. uh, into the crowd in most places. Catcher backing up the throw from from the outfielder to first base, and then making the Jeter fadeaway throw to second. All the while, the play. Justin Smoke has like run out of steam at this point, and it's Smoke, just like you could say. Yeah. So that was good, but now we got to give one where Loriano gets a little bit more credit for his arm instead of just overthrowing first. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's got a cannon. Look how effortless. Oh my goodness. Wow. The first baseman on that play. Again, a great catch to start it. Exactly. He is. And the first baseman just sits there and he's just like, well, yeah, you I know. Deke, you can't let him know that it's about there. You just got to kind of hang out, hang out, hang out, boom, you're out. I think he's just used to this. Probably. I think he's just like, yeah, this is what Ramon does. And yeah. He catches it and he's like, let's go hit. Yeah, I, it would be, I'd like to see, like, just put a, put a tape measure on it, how far he can throw the ball. No targets or anything, just crow hop. You think you can, so standing at home plate, you think you can throw it over center field at the K? Trevor Bauer did it. He's on the mound, though. <laughs> That's, That's true. 60 feet, six inches closer. Ah. <laughs> All right, so since you doubled up there. Hey, I like what you did there. I want to double up here. <laughs> any, uh, any recognition of top plays, top double plays, would not be complete without that dude. Oh, yeah. And his signature behind the back flip. <laughs> I love it. I love it because the the runner's not even in the yeah. screen yet. They get him by like three feet. And it's getting a little later in his career here. He just kind of stays on his knees. He doesn't try to do anything too quickly anymore. So hey. once you're down there, you might as well see it through. If you're that smooth, gosh, that's so great. Let's yeah. see it again yeah. one more time. Takes a nice hop off the bounce towards him and just. He's also got a, the, the ump is right. Like ball skips over the top of the umpire. Oh yeah. Doesn't break his concentration whatsoever. I love the hold though. That should be a statue. Yeah. If he uh, gets a be. statue, that should be a statue. Could be. So you said you got another one for yeah. me? Yeah. So that was that's kind of his signature thing. Alright. So I stumbled across this bad boy. Um, tell me if you see any any resemblance. <laughs> this one might have been a little earlier on, because he, yeah, he went ahead and popped up after popped the, up. behind the back. He's kind of feeling flip. himself there. Yeah. Oh yeah. He knows. He knows. I mean, that, He's that dude. That's great. I love that. And as a second baseman, it doesn't get better than that. No. You can't do it. I got last one for you. This is my favorite one. And as I mentioned a couple times, second base, it's right at my heart. It's where I played. Jack Wilson makes what might be the most phenomenal second base Don't double play. I think I've ever seen this one. The high choppa. Oh! The footwork, the fancy footwork, a little bit reminiscent of the Votto play yeah. a little earlier, a little tappy. Yeah, it's, oh gosh, I can't that get is, enough of it. That's good. Watch as he drags his foot. It's right there. The wherewithal to Boop. kick. Nice. Step, step, turn. Still have the arm strength. Just whatever I got left. Because he's going a significant rate of speed away, like directly away. Oh yeah, from first straight base. into left field. To fling they it say back. second baseman don't have arms. Jack Wilson, doing the good work for us out there. If you if you make it to Major League Baseball, you've probably got some type of arm. Oh, so. is that why I didn't make it? All right, my final one for you. This guy, was his, his whole career has been just a walking web gym. Uh-huh. So I've got a little Esdrubal Cabrera action for you. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yes. Deflected, I remember this play. Deflected off the pitcher's glove. Just. He makes the adjustment. He's he is sprinting to the middle of the field because that's that's where the ball's yeah that's where the ball's headed. Yeah, in double Pitcher play deflects down. it. He's got to readjust. See get back again. to his right. Flip it to second. Oh yeah, I am so loving much. it. Boom. Uh. You know, you kind of had a theme here today. What's that? If it goes beyond the back, you're a fan. You got a shot at being a a, a top play in my book. <laughs> I mean, it is. That is outstanding there start. were some great plays in here I love it that was I mean I if we were to do outfield only mm -hmm. double plays oh yeah there's some there's some stuff that might be coming down the pike later uh, but I think for for middle infielders it doesn't get much better than these guys that's true those guys are good now if you guys are interested in an outfield only go ahead and leave it in the comment below um, just an absolute wonderful display of talent here. And we're excited to do more of these, give you guys some more feedback on some of this stuff, break down some really fun plays in the past history of baseball. We might do some home runs. We might do some different pitches because I know there are people out there looking for some nasty pitches. Build a, a Frankenstein pitcher or something like that. Oh, they might see sweet. that. That'd be sweet. Keep an eye out for that, guys. If you like this, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. We love it all. We'll see you guys soon. Take care.